today we're gonna walk right through this door to ride the bus. Come on, follow me. I'm gonna show you inside. Come on. You're gonna love this place. So when you come in every day, if you ride the bus, you're gonna stop right here. This camera will actually take your temperature. So all you actually do is walk right past it and then you can go right back to your classroom, which we'll show you right where they are. I wanna introduce you to some friends. Come this way. This is the kindergarten area. My friend, Mrs. Cheryl is gonna introduce you. Hi everybody. People. I wanna introduce you to some of our wonderful kindergarten friends that we have here. This is Mrs. Carl. She helps out in our classrooms. Mrs. Wittenrich. Hi, Mrs. Wittenrich. And this is Ben Benick. Yay! So they're going to be with us all year long, helping us to learn. Yeah. Hey, follow me. I want to show you the first classroom, Mrs. Gessner. Come on. Now, I want to see what she's doing first, so just keep it down. Okay. Oh, here she is. Come on in. Hey, friends, this is Mrs. Gessner's room. If you look right up here, she has a flag. It says Mrs. Gessner. Why don't you go ahead in there and go see Mrs. Gessner? Hi, everybody. I'm Mrs. Gessner. Come on in. Take a little peek at my room. I know it looks a little bit bare, but that's because you are going to help your very own teacher decorate your classroom. Um, and we know things are going to be a little different this year than maybe what you were expecting, but just know your teacher is going to be here to help you through all of it. Now, one thing that you're going to have to do this year is we have to have our faces covered in some way. I'm going to wear this face shield just like this. It looks a little funny and it a little bit wiggles when I walk, but that's okay. It's keeping me safe. There's also masks that you see a lot of people wearing. It's important when you wear this to make sure that it covers your nose and your mouth at the same time. It's not okay to do this. It's not okay to do this. You gotta cover your nose and your mouth at the same time. Now, there's something that I need to tell just my class. This year, my class is gonna be a peanut-free class. More than ever, we're gonna make sure our friends are super safe. So what that means is your snacks that you bring every day need to be peanut free. Um, there is a letter coming home in the mail to all of your parents and there's a letter on Sapphire for your parents as well, the same letter um, to explain that more. And uh, we'll, so, so don't worry, more information is coming about that and what that means for you. Um, also, next week when you come to school, you're gonna get a packet like this that is a kindergarten packet. Um, and it, it says, welcome to kindergarten. It tells you everything you need to know. And now more than ever, one of the most important things is that we need to have good communication. And so there are a, a bunch of different ways you can communicate with your classroom teacher. You can call and leave us a voicemail. You can put a note in your child's folder, or you can email us. The quickest ways are a note or an email. And that contact information is right on the front of that paper. Um, sometimes we don't always get the voicemails. It'll, it, our phone won't ring, it'll get a, a voicemail, and we don't always see that light blinking during the day, so we might miss it. Um, so the best way is either a note or the email. Also, every day I'll be taking attendance in class for those of you who are coming here in person. If you're, if you're learning virtually, you're gonna have to do attendance on the Sapphire portal, um, which I guess you're getting login information about that. And one of the important things in the morning is for every parent to check with your child on the daily home screenings for students. This is found on the COVID tab on the front of our school website. And every morning we're asking parents to ask your child these questions. If they have any of these symptoms, please keep them home and check with your physician to see when they're okay to come back to school. Um, when you do come back to school, an excuse either written on a note or again in the Sapphire portal is, is what you need to do so you uh, ha don't have an unexcused absence. And um, I think it's time for you to go see my next door neighbor, Mrs. Sharrow. Bye everybody, I can't wait to see you next week. Hey, you know what, I forgot one thing. What? Oh my goodness. So in kindergarten, we like to have a split first day. And what that means is, if your last name starts with A through L, you're gonna come to school on Tuesday. That's all that comes. If your last name starts with M through Z, you're gonna come to school on Wednesday. The A through L stay home on Wednesday. The M through Zs stay home on Tuesday. 
And that way, it's just a great way for us to be able to explain all the rules a little bit better to a smaller group of our friends. It's a, a much more relaxed day. It's easier, it's easier on, on the students. Um, it's a little bit more work for the teachers because we have three first days of school because then Thursday, everybody comes. So I'll see some of you Tuesday, I'll see some of you Wednesday, and then we'll see everybody next Thursday. All right, cool. now I think I got it all. Thanks, Mrs. Gesser. Hey guys, come on, come with me. I wanna show you this classroom. Oh, you guys look so good today. Did you guys dress up? Looking good. I wanna introduce you to my friend, Mrs. Sharrow. Her flag is right outside this classroom here. Oh, and there Hi. she is. Go Hi, ahead friends. in, go ahead. family lives. Take a look around. Guess what? We even have a bathroom. Look at this. Our class is special. Not all classrooms have a bathroom in their room. But anyway, come on over. Come on over. Take a look. How about it? Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to show you what I look like. I didn't have one of those face shields like Mrs. Gester has. But what I do have is... Oh, I have a big smile just for you. So this is what Mrs. Cheryl looks like. But I'm gonna put my mask right back on so I'm safe and you're safe and we stay extra, extra healthy. So this is our um, where our school family lives and I'm gonna go over some more of uh, the things on our Welcome to Kindergarten packet. Um, parents, I wanna let you know that if you are going to be picking your child up from school at all sometime through the day, if you could please put a note inside their your child's um, take home folder. It's gonna look something like this. It might be a different color, but if you could put a note in there, that way I will get it right away in the morning and I can let our office staff know that you will be coming to pick up your child early today from school. Um, also, if you wanna drop us an email, um, we can read the email and we'll just forward it to the office. Let's see, oh, also, if your plans for a pickup would happen to change in the afternoon, it's real important um, if you could please make sure you contact the, uh, our elementary office by two o'clock that day. That way they will have ample time to let me know or any of our kindergarten teachers know that their child is actually being picked up at school instead of riding the bus that day. Let's see, moving on. Um, breakfast and lunch. We do serve breakfast and lunch here at our school. And what we do ask you to do um, with your child at home is please let us know or talk over it with them. They need to know if they are getting breakfast here at school or if they are getting the school lunch or they're packing. So if every day before you send your kiddo off, if you could talk about that with them so they know whether they're, they are getting the school breakfast or nope, you're packing today for lunch. You don't need to get the school lunch because we will be asking them that and uh, we need to let our, our cafeteria staff know the numbers for that. Let's see, hmm. oh, snacks. Who doesn't love a snack? In kindergarten, we have two snack times. We have a snack time in the morning, and we also have a snack time in the afternoon. And this, this is such an important thing that we're asking our kindergarten families to do at home before you come to school. So this is actually Mrs. Sharon's backpack right here. And what we're asking families to do, if you could find a special pocket on your backpack that is just for your morning and afternoon snack. If you could please, Mrs. Sharrow's backpack, I've got a lot of pockets on mine. And in my backpack, I like to keep my snacks right here. And we're asking that you do that because we have found, Mrs. Sharrow, I'm, I'm old by the way, and I found this out a long time ago. When we were finding, when kiddos were putting their snacks inside their lunch boxes, before you know it, the whole lunch was out and they were having a full blown lunch and it was only snack time. So we're asking our families from home, if you could help with that, please, just to have a special snack pouch in their, um, in their backpack, that'd be great. And I think I have to do one more thing. Um, our water fountains, for everybody's safety, our children will not be able to use our water fountains um, because we wanna keep everybody safe here at school. So we are encouraging your child to please have a water bottle and bring it to school. Now, I, we are asking that your water bottle, this one actually is a water bottle. It has the pop-up top where you would simply pull it up, take a drink, and then push it down. Um, also, they do have the water bottles that have the, the pop-up lids like this. Um, 
what we are asking that your child does not bring is these kind of water bottles. Because guess what? In kindergarten, yeah, it happens a lot. Our water bottles could fall over and the water could go all over. So we are asking our families, if you could, to please not have any of the, the water bottles that have the screw off tops. Um, just makes for less accidents here in kindergarten. And I think, oh, I think I forgot to say for our snacks, we're asking our families too to please provide healthy snacks for your kiddos. I know here in my room, if a child does pull out candy for a snack, I, I don't let them have that, um, especially lollipops, things like that. So please have um, healthy snacks. And also, if you could practice opening that snack with your child, um, sometimes teaching them how to open up, whether it's a fruit roll up or a bag of pretzels or even a Ziploc bag, that would help us out here at school to help your child. So, all right, I guess that's all for me. I think Mr. Hauer, Hey. Are you going to take him over yeah, to another Yeah, hey, come school? on, buddy. Come Five on. Five minutes. Wow, you are one tall kindergarten kid. How about that, Mrs. Shao? Awesome, Mrs. Gessner. Hey, follow me for a second. We're going to go see my friend, Mrs. Rodriguez, but on the way over, I'm going to show you something. This is the bathrooms here. There's a boy's bathroom, and then there's the girl's bathroom. We'll talk about that later when you come in, but we'll help you for everything. Let me introduce you to my friend. This is Mrs. Rodriguez. Hi, boys and girls. Come on into my room. This is our kindergarten classroom. Welcome. Welcome to kindergarten. I'm so excited to see you today. I just want to show you, this is Mrs. Rodriguez's face. I am so excited about kindergarten this year. I really hope you are too. I'm going to put my mask back on, boys and girls. I have a few things to um, share with you and your parents. Um, boys and girls, one serious thing this year that's different for kindergarten is because due to um, the COVID virus, the COVID-19, we are not going to do birthday snacks in kindergarten. So please don't bring in snacks for your whole class. We're not going to do that this year. We will make sure that we celebrate birthdays in other ways in our classrooms without a sharing of a treat. Also this year, for quiet rest time, no towels are needed, no mats. We're going to do quiet rest time different this year in our classroom. In kindergarten, boys and girls, we get to go outside two times. We have two recesses every day. I want to tell you right now, sneakers are best for recess, boys and girls. Sneakers are best for what we're going to be doing on the playground. We're going to be walking around. We're going to be moving. We have lots of things to do. And to keep you safe, sneakers are best for school. Um, let me see. Please make sure that you dress for the weather. If it is cold outside, when it gets colder, you need hats, you need, a go you need gloves. We will go outside if we can. We love to be outside. Um, our handbook, the teachers in kindergarten are going over some of our kindergarten rules. But to know our school-wide rules, you can visit our school website and if you go under um, the resources for parent resources, you will find the handbook and that goes over all the school-wide rules. Um, one last thing though, boys and girls, if you send in money to school or you bring money to school, like for your lunch account or a book fair, please make sure it's in an envelope, your name is on it, and it's ready, ready to go to the office so they know who it is, and also have your lunch number on it, your student ID number if it's lunch money. Um, boys and girls, I think you're gonna get ready to go see another classroom. I can't wait to meet you. See you soon. Hey, come on, this way, this way. So we're gonna meet a brand new friend. Her name is Mrs. Singley. Who out there is, is in Mrs. Singley's class? Raise your hand. Oh wow, there's a bunch of them. Come on in this way. Mrs. Singley's right next to Mrs. Rodriguez. Hi, boys and girls. There Come on back is. into my room. Now listen, I have to tell you something. I just got some more of our learning things and I've been putting them away for you. So I'm sorry there's a little bit of a mess, but come come with me. Just pretend you don't see my mess. This special hallway takes you back down to my room. So come on in here. And this is our room. This is where we're gonna be doing our learning. So real quick though, watch. I'm gonna take my mask off so you can see what I really look like. And listen, even though I'm gonna have my mask on, you know that I'm gonna be smiling at you, at you all day, okay? So I'm gonna put my mask back on. And then, yeah, look around. This is our room. 
So we have tables or desks for everybody. I have a desk. We have all sorts of room for us to learn and to, uh, to do our work together. But before you leave my room, I have to tell you a couple things, okay? So I know my other friends told you and mommy and daddy and the grown-ups at your house about some things about kindergarten. I need to tell you some things too, okay? Once, after we get learning for a little while, we're gonna do something called have report cards. And when we have report cards, it means we get to write down all the things that you know, and then we put them on the computer, and mommy, daddy, the grown-up at your house, whoever takes care of you can go on the computer and see how well you're doing in kindergarten. Then we have something called parent conferences. And uh, boys and girls, parent conferences are gonna be a day that instead of you coming to school, the grown-ups at your house come to school and they talk to us about how, you're, uh, how, how much you're learning and how you're doing. So those dates are November 23rd and 24th. So grown-ups, if you can write that on your calendar just to know that uh, we'll be meeting with you at that time to talk to you about how your student is progressing. Um, something else we really need to know, boys and girls, now that you're a big kid, you're gonna be in charge of something called your take-home folder. And every day you need to bring it to school and every day you need to take it home. Because if we have any special, special messages that I need to send to the grown-up at your house or the grown-up at your house needs to give to any of us, it's gonna go in that, or that uh, take home folder, okay? So every day. And then when you get home from school, please take your folder to the grown-up at your house and say, can you look and see inside my folder and see what I did today? It's gonna be really important that we share those folders every day, all right? Um, the next thing, how many of you have gone school shopping and maybe you got a special backpack for kindergarten? So everyone should have a backpack and you need to make sure that your backpack is not too big and not too small, kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, just right. It's not gonna be too big that you fall over and it's not gonna be too small that you can't put maybe a library book in there or a special project or a special paper or your take home folder, all right? I know that one of my other teacher friends talked to you about the snacks too, how they need to go inside your backpack. Um, let's see, oh, so what are you gonna learn when you're here with us? Well, we're gonna do something called language arts and language arts is a time when we are going to use special books and I'm gonna have a special teacher book and we're gonna learn something called interreading. And we're gonna talk about letters and sounds and writing. And we're gonna get little books that you get to read on your own and big books that I read to you. And you're gonna learn how to write. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The other thing we're gonna do during our day when you're here with us is something called math. And math is just numbers and counting and shapes and things like that. And we use a uh, program called Everyday Math. And you'll see us take things out to use for that. And we'll practice our math skills using Everyday Math. And then we're gonna do something called social sciences. So social sciences is when we're going to talk about things like holidays. We're gonna get these special newspapers called uh, Let's Find Out and maybe it'll be about apples or maybe it'll be about Thanksgiving holidays when we start to do um, those types of, uh, of activities. So that's social sciences. We're also gonna do something called positive action where we're gonna learn about how important it is to be kind to ourselves and to take good care of ourselves, all right? So while you're here with us, you're gonna be learning tons and tons of new things and I know you can do it because you're super smart kids. Do you wanna see Mr. Howard's room? That is, the, <laughs> that is the grand finale, and here we go. Hey, cool. Hey, come on with me. So I'm gonna take you down to my classroom. My classroom is right next to first grade. So come on out this way. We still have our teachers hanging out there. Wave to them. There they are. Come on and follow me. So did you know that a chicken doesn't drive a sedan because it drives a coupe? Did you know that? <laughs> come on, come on this way. So my class, I know, it's that teacher that tells jokes that no one laughs at. My classroom is all the way down here. So come on, follow me. I'm so excited for you to come. I just can't wait. That's our library. We'll talk about it then. Come on in my classroom. This way. Come on in. This is my classroom. And yes, I'm still putting some stuff away too. I just got a new shipment today. Take a look around. Here's my desk over here. My desk, I got some cool books. I got games, we have a calendar. I have a lot of stuff, really, really cool stuff. The last part, friends, is I wanna talk a little bit about our schedule. In the morning, we do a lot of our academics. Morning meeting, math meeting. We're also gonna do into reading. 
Then we're gonna have recess. Then we're gonna have lunch. Then we're gonna have math. Then you're gonna get to have unified arts, which is your special, like gym class or library or art. Then we're gonna go to recess. Then we're gonna go home. The day in kindergarten goes like this. Super fast. I am super excited for you to come. Our classrooms are a little bit different this year, but we are gonna try our best to make this the best year ever for kids, okay? Now, don't forget, you have to know what day you come on the first day of school. If you're staying home, A through L on Tuesday is gonna come, and through Z is gonna stay home, and then the opposite, and then we'll have everybody on Thursday, okay? I'm Mr. Howard, come down here one last time. We're gonna walk back down. I wanna see some of my friends. So this is the kindergarten area. We also call it the family room. The family room is because we're a family. All of us work together, all of us get along, we help each other out. Here I have some rural rules. We'll talk about them also. No bullies. We do not have any bullies in this school. We take care of it right away. Hey, follow me. You, by the way, you didn't even tell me your name yet. What's your name? Oh, cool, I like that name. Hey, these are my kindergarten friends. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to see you. I already did. We're all good. Yep, we're all good. We're all good. Bye. Bye. See ya.